What's up guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Roz and I make videos about adventure and travel content and today is no different. I'm super excited. Today is gonna be my first mountain bike ride on my brand new mountain bike that I recently got and I'm super excited. It's also my first time mountain biking by myself. It's the first time I've mountain biked in Southern California. It's the first time doing this new mountain bike ride, obviously, in Southern California, so I'm really excited and I thought I'd make a video of it um, for obvious, maybe not obvious reasons, I guess. Um, I am making this happen by myself and if you are scared to do something like this by yourself, I hope you can get some inspiration from this and go out and do something that you are kind of nervous about but really excited about and um, yeah, hopefully I can, I can inspire you. And if anything else, if you want to mountain bike in Southern California, maybe this will be a good spot for you to check out. So plan for today, it's about like 10, 11 in the morning and I have not eaten breakfast or anything, which is not my smartest idea, but um, I just want to go out and get it done before it gets super, super hot out. As you can tell, it's already incredibly hot. I'm like sweating so much right now, I'm sitting in the car. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna, I live in Huntington Beach. I'm in Huntington Beach right now. And the ride that I found, somebody mentioned it to me. I looked it up and it's supposedly like kind of a beginner run. Um, it's called the Fullerton Loop. It kind of just loops around a couple different trails up in Fullerton. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive up there. You guys saw I mounted, or not mounted. I threw my, my bike in the back. I do really need to get a bike mount because obviously this, um, that was very difficult and I don't want to do that again. I'm gonna damage my car and that's not a good idea. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go out there. I'm gonna pull that up on... All right, this is it. I'm gonna see if that's gonna focus right there. It's not, but you get the idea. It is 11.2 miles, uh, 16, 669 gain, 679 down, so about equal. Obviously, it goes to about the same place. <laughs> okay, I'm doing my best here, like whatever. Um, so yeah, I've got all my gear. I've got a helmet, I've got my shades that I got for my birthday, and we're ready to go. So it's gonna be a really fun day. I'm excited, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. See you soon. We're here. I'm ready. I'm gonna get my gear on and we're gonna go. Basically, I am parked in the Fullerton Courthouse parking lot and I think I see somebody running up there. Yeah, she's she's running on the trail. So I'm gonna go up there and get started. And I have my GoPro with me, so I'm gonna take my GoPro and take you guys along with me. We're gonna see what mountain biking in Southern California looks like.
All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. It has been a few days since I last <laughs> picked up the camera. As you can, or as you saw in the last clip, my car got broken into. I went on a mountain bike ride, like I said, I think that day when I was filming. It's called the Fullerton Loop, and you, you basically park at the southwest corner of the Fullerton Courthouse in order to go on this ride. So I was parked in a courthouse parking lot next to a bunch of other cars with like bike racks, um, hitch bike racks, like bikes attached to those hitch racks, parked there all day while people were working. And for some reason or another, somebody uh, smashed the windows from a backseat of my car and stole my backpack. My backpack, I had shoved it like underneath, I put my seats down to be in order to, to put the bike in the car, and I had shoved my backpack between the door and the um, the, that seat that I had put down so it was hidden so obviously either somebody was watching me or I didn't hide it well enough because I was about maybe three quarters of the way through my ride when I looked at my phone and saw you know to direct myself pretty much and saw that um, I had gotten a couple of text messages from my credit card company saying like oh did you charge like $500 at WSS like a shoe store and I was like oh god it's like I, I knew instantaneously what had happened I just didn't know whether somebody had stolen just my backpack or if they had also stolen my car with the backpack so I freaked out immediately hightailed my way back took surface streets back um, I'm lucky that I didn't have to like finish the ride or like go backwards or anything I just kind of hightailed it back to my car my car was still there thank god but um, as you saw my window was clearly smashed uh, I went to the police station I filed the police report called my credit card companies and canceled my credit cards, uh, lost my bag and my sunglasses, which were in there, but all of that sort of pales in comparison to the worst thing that I lost because um, I was going the next day, I was supposed to fly to Spain for two weeks, and of course my passport was in my backpack. So my passport is gone, my driver's license is gone, my uh, credit cards were gone, so I ended up actually having to cancel my trip. Um, I had trip insurance and everything, so plug, always buy trip insurance, but um, yeah, more or less, uh, bit of an interruption in my plans, not how I wanted to spend my day, and it cost me almost $700 to replace that window. So um, please don't leave anything in your car. Like the minute this happened to me, of course I mentioned this had happened to a couple of different people, and every single person said that they've had friends that have had camera lenses stolen, that have had cameras stolen, like that have just had their windows smashed for, you know, the uh, aux cord in the car. Like please don't leave anything in your car. I learned a really valuable lesson and like the follow-up from that was actually pretty limited so uh yeah don't leave stuff in your car but all that is to say obviously this video didn't turn into the video that i wanted to make it was the first time i was taking out my mountain bike and it was supposed to be a really fun day i ended up spending three hours at the police station and after that tony took me out for dinner and a couple of beers because it was just not a great day um but overall i'm happy um because i am safe my family's safe like nobody's life is in danger and you have to keep um you have to keep your mind in the right place and recognize that things could be so so much worse and um overall I'm, I'm really lucky so overall not a great way to end the video so i figured i would continue it with this since i couldn't go to spain on my trip that i've spent months planning i'm gonna go do a road trip again through utah and take my mountain bike and uh, mountain bike and hike and visit moab and a couple of bookstores that i've been really Looking forward to visiting, yes, this is late 20s, early 30s. I look forward to visiting bookstores now. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to vlog it, and uh, you guys are going to see a bunch of videos. I also think I might be going to my 10-year high school reunion, which is pretty crazy. Um, anyway, uh, it's going to be fun, but I went to REI today, and I picked up something really fun. So I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to build it, and then we're going to call the video the end after that because I don't know what else to include here and I don't want to waste the footage that I spent the other day and also everybody needs to know don't leave stuff in your car that's what you learned today take it all out I'm like a bit of a messy car person it's not worth the $700 all right let me show you what I got all right so since I'm gonna be sleeping in my car I decided that I wanted to be able to keep my mountain bike outside of my car I guess I should have moved this stuff I grabbed a couple of other things as well I've got some coffee some more movies. Backpacking wheels and some more kicking fuel, but I went ahead and bought this bike rack for the back of my car. It's a hitch rack, so it's going to go into the hitch in the back of my 4Runner, and yeah, should be pretty cool. It's pretty expensive. It wasn't like the cheapest one available, but it wasn't the most expensive either. I sort of went for a middle of the road one, and the guy at REI had a lot of great things to say about the Kuat brand, even though it's not, you know, the typical Thule or Yakima rack or anything like that. 
so yeah, we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna attempt to build this. The guy at the store also did mention when I said that he was like, this does require assembly. You said you have a boyfriend at home, which uh, basically is a challenge to me that I need to build this completely by myself with absolutely no assistance from my boyfriend. So yeah, wish me luck. I definitely needed a little bit amount of help, but I figured it out pretty quickly. All right, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off there. I know this wasn't exactly the video that it was supposed to be, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up anyway, and you know, this is like, it doesn't always work out perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you wanna see in the next one, but the next one, regardless of your wishes, is probably gonna be the road trip that I mentioned this weekend, which I'm really excited about, so yeah. Now I'm all hooked up with my rack and I'm gonna spend some time riding through the Utah desert for a week. So I'll see you there. Bye.